let's talk about the car 18. As usual, I missed the release date and had to learn about it from streamers that I happened to follow. The game looked very promising to me and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it, though the ones I looked at didn't do quite a good job at the game and the reviews were mixed, but how could it be so bad? The idea is great, what can possibly go wrong? Well, let's look at the menu. Yeah, it's not great. Let this set the tone for the rest of the game. It gets worse from here. Being stubborn and thinking that I got it, man! I chose the medium difficulty for my first playthrough, and I sucked at it. The game looks okay, the game feels okay, it's not terribly broken and it's not a huge buggy mess. The problem is this one thing that demolishes pretty much everything the developers had achieved. It's weird that not much people were able to articulate their complaints, and instead they started picking on things. But I guess it just happens when you're frustrated. Anyway, back to the topic. The problem is as follows. The game is programmed in a way that you need to follow a path for checkpoints, but unlike new NFS games for example, the checkpoints are invisible and you're not allowed to miss them. This is the only flaw that completely ruined the entire game for me. You might think that I'm nitpicking, but look at how easy it is to mess a checkpoint, even when I'm well aware of where I'm going, having completed the stage several times and having a compass on the top, I still sometimes manage to completely miss my destination. Look how tiny the gap is! The environment design doesn't help too, most of the time it's just dunes with nothing. That doesn't help navigating at all. When the note is clear enough, like wall on the left, it's easy to correct your mistake, but when it's sent all over the place, you can't do much if you screw up. There is an option to reset your car to the previous checkpoint, but it gives you a 20 minutes penalty. For example, this is my stage time without penalties. Add 20 minutes to that and I'm out. When I reset to previous checkpoints, I'm already going back and losing time. Why is it required to punish me even more? It's impossible to keep yourself competitive after you miss a single checkpoint, so you're better off resetting the entire stage. After I played the game for a while, I figured out an exploit. If you get lost and don't want to reset, just wreck the car. The game will let you restart from the last checkpoint at the cost of all the progress you made after it, but it won't add the penalty. Why can't I do the same by just pressing a button? Initially, I wanted to end things here, but I decided to beat the game, so I played more. One other thing that annoyed me was the delayed co-driver. Sometimes he will be nagging you non-stop for every small scratch, and sometimes he will go completely silent for many and many kilometers. This is just annoying, but him telling stuff too late is simply outrageous. Seriously, I can recall a few instances where I would get a penalty for speeding, and after that, the co-driver will tell me that there's a speed limit zone. Start speed limit zone, turn left to track, between the houses, attention! The reason I chose talking about this game is it can be easily fixed, and in different ways too. They could have simply increased the checkpoint range, or they could have disabled penalties for resetting, or they could have made better design, add some orienteers so you don't get lost so easily. The game can be easily saved, yet it must suffer from enormous difficulty curve. 500, attention, go to right track. Keep going to right track, attention. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. Прошло полчаса, ты играешь эту трассу полчаса.